Hi, I'm Amanda, and today we'll learn about PDF markups, the properties toolbar, and how to change markup properties. Welcome to Bluebeam University. Markups are an invaluable tool for most users of review, making it simple to annotate drawings and communicate project needs and issues. Review comes with a variety of markup types by default, including text and comments, freehand markups, shapes, and measurement tools that are tailored to the scale of your drawing. With these options, you can quickly and easily add the annotations you need to all of your drawings. Let's dive in and take a closer look at how to use some of these markup types. You can locate markup tools from the Tools menu or from the toolbar. To add text and other comments, use the text box, callout, typewriter, or note markups. Click the tool you'd like to use in the toolbar or choose from the tools menu. For typewriter or notes, you can select the tool, then simply click where you'd like to add the markup, then start typing. To add a text box markup, you first need to create the box. Select the tool, then click in your drawing where you'd like the box to go, and move your cursor to the right to create the box. When the box is the side you'd like, click again. Then you can type inside the text box. The callout tool is a compound markup. You will first need to set the location of the arrow at the end of the leader line, then click where you want the text box to go. With these tools, you can communicate information and changes easily. You can also freehand markups. Freehand tools include the pen, highlighter, and eraser. The pen tool allows you to freehand shapes to simulate a pen or pencil by clicking and dragging on the drawing. The highlighter can automatically detect text to highlight, or you can freehand highlight by holding control. The eraser tool can erase freehand markups by clicking and dragging across the markup. Shape tools allow you to make the perfect shapes easily. Click the shape in the toolbar or tools menu, then click and drag to place the size of the shape. To use the line tool, click your starting point, then your end point. The polygon markup is similar. Click point by point to create your shape. Then click the first point to close it. Shapes can be used to highlight and emphasize specific parts of a drawing. The Cloud Plus tool is another example of a compound markup. It is a polygon markup with a cloud-like appearance and a callout box. A rectangular cloud can be created by clicking and dragging, or you can click point by point to create your own shape. When the shape is drawn, click again to place the callout text box. The Cloud Plus markup is a great way to call attention to areas of a drawing. You can also add digital stamps to your drawings. Navigate to the Tools menu, select Stamps, and select the desired stamp or make your own. Then click the PDF to place the stamp. If your drawing has a scale, you can add measurements to your drawing. Go to the Tools menu, then Measure and select Length. Click your starting point. Enter the scale when prompted, then click the end point. Review will calculate the distance between the two points. This tool makes estimation workflows quick and easy. When a markup is selected, the properties toolbar will activate and you can change its attributes, such as line color, weight, font, fill, and more. Finally, all your markups will populate in the markups list. When a markup is selected, its properties will be displayed in the markups list, including metadata not displayed in the properties toolbar. Thanks for watching today. To learn more, visit university.bluebeam.com.